Hello and welcome to the Isle of Valley. Today we are going to build a bus depot. Yes, that's right, a bus depot. This location is perfect for the upcoming build, so how about we just get on with it? This interchange looks very boring from a bird's eye point of view. It has dealt with the traffic rather well to my surprise, so how about we start adding in some little details to make it look a little bit more attractive? Um, Valley? Oh, hello, Jemson. Hey, Valley. I just wanted to start off by saying that I am loving the city and the direction it's headed in. But I do have a concern with the bus depot. Why is that? As I'm sure you are aware, I am the head of transportation in the Isle of Valley. With the way the city has been growing, I foresee an issue with traffic on the interchange that will cause problems for the buses. I recommend either locating the bus depot elsewhere or improving the interchange to handle future growth of the city. I cannot allow a bus depot to go in this area without an improvement to the existing interchange. I have to agree with Jemson. Your interchange is kind of, well, I don't want to offend you, but it could do with a major improvement. Okay guys, enough with how bad my interchange is. Let's just delete the whole thing and start again. Thank you. Everyone will be happy with your decision. Thank God for that. So listen to the voice of some very concerned residents regarding my interchange, I decided to delete it and just start afresh. Things I do as a mayor. Let's start off by creating our new highway. I raised the height of this section as I want the main arterial road to now go underneath it rather than go over the top. I used dirt roads originally to create my on and off ramps for this interchange, mainly because they are the cheapest road to use and if I do make a mistake it won't be too costly for me and I can easily upgrade them to a highway one lane when it's complete. Now a little confession for myself, I am absolutely useless when it comes to creating interchanges, so do not expect this new interchange to be much better than the original. One of my flaws in this game, but practice makes perfect I guess, well, not in my case anyway. I make use of the TMPE mod to make sure Sims use this junction correctly. Ever hear of the phrase you can lead a horse to water but can't make the horse drink it? <laughs> well... I introduce a new speed limit for this interchange to make it safer for my Sims entering and leaving this highway. Now let's do exactly the same but on the opposite sides. Connecting the highway back on the other side. Not bad. A typical valley interchange right there. Now it's time to think about future planning. I decided to bring a tram track over the river into this area as currently it's not served by any public transport. I decided to build a big mountain called the Butterville Mountain. I can just imagine some time in the near future with the city skyline in the distance, it would be a perfect viewing point and would sit great in a national park. Just where do I come up with these ideas?
Now for the bus depot. I want this land perfectly flat as we cannot have buses parked on a huge slant now, can we? I change the road to a dirt road and bring it down running alongside the slip roads. Now this will be the main admin building. This building is where your commercial team is, customer services, senior management, payroll and HR all in one space. Now for the on-site parking. I create another dirt road which will serve for the garage and our buses. The garage itself is where the maintenance and engineering side of the business will be located. So your engineers, cleaners and operational staff will be situated. I use the silos from the industry to make it seem like these are fuel tanks for the depot. You can't just have our buses stroll into a random petrol garage now, can we? Now to lay concrete blocks down for the entire operational area. Can I have our buses getting stuck in the grass or the mud? Now let's lay down our buses. I use props and lay them down next to each other in lanes ranging from small single decks to large double deck buses and I must say, doesn't it look wonderful? Using farmland fencing, I fence off some of the areas which will help with health and safety. Now time for some little bit of detailing. You know the drill, some trees, plants, etc. I decided to use the ferns using prop line tool to give this depot a natural barrier around the entire site. And there is the finished build. And I must say, this has to be one of my favorite builds. I had, oh, I had so much fun building this, honestly. It was such a delight and such a joy to build this, honestly. It's like, oh God. So obviously this is the, this is the profession that I'm in, all right? And just to see this on the game that I really love, is just magnificent and just it's the reason why I love this game all right it's just the honest reason why so obviously before I start drooling over this build how about I just quickly show you what I've done so this is do you know what I haven't even named it all right I'm gonna let you name it so guys let me know in the comments down below what should we name this depot okay bearing in mind the previous build we named this the Butterville power plant so 
I would love to hear your suggestions. I want to know what you want this bus depot to be called down below. So guys, in the comments, please let me know. And in the next episode, we shall name it. Can't wait to see your suggestions. But anyway, right, I'm just going to go over quickly what I kind of explained in the build. So yeah, this is the this is the bus depot that's going to serve the entire nation of the Isle Valley. Now, the Isle Valley is going to be quite a big city, all right, as you can tell. So we need a big bus depot, and I think this bus depot is just perfect for it, alright? Now, these assets, I've downloaded from the Steam Workshop, they will be linked in the description down below. Guys, please download them and just have a crack at this yourself, seriously. It's it's just such, they're such good assets. But this building by here, okay, so we'll come to this one. So obviously this is just some sort of random office from the actual original game anyway. Um, the power remover, I fused it together with this lovely little office building and they it looks pretty good, I think, to be honest with you. Now, as I explained, this is sort of where your, um, where your sort of, you know, your, your HR, your payroll, um, your, what we would call SLT, your senior lead team, uh, your managing director, your CEO, um, any shareholder meetings, etc. Um, customer services, commercial, if I haven't said that already. Um, they would be based here, all right. As you can imagine, that's a pretty big workforce, believe it or not. There's a lot of, there's a lot of things that go behind, sort of, in the bus um, industry that you don't really even think of. You know, like your social media team. You know, like things like that. You really don't think of these things. Um, your your operational supervisors. You know, your controllers that keep the network running. You know, they would all be based in this building by here. So, as you can see reception so i really like that it's a gorgeous touch that is really good so yeah um obviously we've got the staff car park as well so this is where the staff would be parked um yeah nice parking <laughs> you park on the side of the road but yeah there's about a million spaces there lovely love it but yeah this is the staff car parking okay now if we come over so this is just from your uh, normal dlc all right so from, sorry from your normal game just type in uh, farm and you can bring it up. It's, far, it's basically like a little silo. Now, as you can imagine, every single um, every single bus depot in the UK, probably in America as well, or anywhere in the world, has their own sort of fuel supply uh, where they would take uh, deliveries in, fill up their own tanks, and obviously then your garages would fill up the, the buses because you can't just have any old bus fill up you know, in a normal random garage, you know? You just can't. <laughs> <laughs> it's barbaric so yeah so this is what i kind of envisioned with this so these are the fuel tanks all right a lot of gallons to be held here you'd be surprised how quick all right that would empty seriously um so this is the garage of course we've got seven cells and we've got like a mini office building so this side of the business would be sort of your engineering team uh, your cleaning team um, you know, things like that, your, your maintenance department, where they would fix the buses, your, you know, your, sort of like your painters as well, where they paint the exterior of the buses with the branding and things like that. They would all be based in this. It would be a pretty big operation, It'd be huge. So it requires a big garage. And again, it just looks wonderful, doesn't it? It's, it's, a, it's an amazing asset. As I said, it's going to be, it's going to all be linked down below. Um, I really I really advise that you download them. It's so good. Now on the top we've got solar panels. Now let me leave you into a little trick. So with this asset, you could download solar panels that come with the with the actual pack. And they actually supply real power to your city. So if I click on it by here, if it'll let me. Um let's try <laughs> it's not letting me. Right, okay, there we go. Bus Depot solar panels. Look at the look at the output. I mean, that's 60 megawatts, you know. And then I've got another one over here, another 60 megawatts. That's 32. Well, 32 megawatts of power for the city, which I never had before. And that is just incredible. And if you think about it, see if you had four of these. Okay, that would be what 64 megawatts of power times that by four. That's a lot cheaper, all right, than the <laughs> than the power plant I built in the last episode. So yeah, something to, something to bear in mind. Now, the lighting for this depot, okay, I used um, like the stadium lights. Um, and I will quickly show you once I've gone through my buses. And oh, don't they look marvellous. Oh, God, they are so, 
<laughs> this excites me. <laughs> I love him. Oh, it's like it's like being at work. It's beautiful. These double deckers as well. Really great props. You got some nice enviros by here as well. These buses are fantastic. Now, you're probably thinking, Valley, you've placed these quite close together. Now, believe it or not, this is what you would know. This is how you would normally park your depot, your buses. You'd park them in lanes or rows. However, you know you'd want to do it. And your operational teams, such as your supervisors or your allocations department, would allocate these buses out what's on what's called turns, and they would and they would go out in 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 an orderly flow, and that's how they work. Um, and of course, you know the space in between them as well. Um, as long as the driver has enough t has enough room to do their bus checks, I mean that is uh, that is ample space. I've had to do bus checks in <laughs> you know, in areas much smaller than that. So that's ample. Um, but honestly, I'm so happy with this build. Let me let me just show you, okay, how good it looks in the night, okay? So I hope you're ready for this. So look at that. Just, <laughs> just wonderful, isn't it? It's uh, look at that garage as well. That garage just looks phenomenal. Oh, we got a fire in the background. That's not good. <laughs> at least it's not the depot, right? Thank God it's not the depot. But yeah, super, super happy with this build. I would love to hear your thoughts and your comments. So again, guys, down below, let me know what you think of it. And I hope this inspires you as well. But that's not the only thing we built in this episode. So, I built due to some very concerned residents and, of course, my head of transportation. They weren't very happy. <laughs> they weren't very happy with the old highway interchange. So, I had to revamp it. Now, it's a lot bigger than the previous one. Now, these sort of interchanges, they work for me, all right? They really do work for me, and with the, you know, with the help of TMPE, where you can sort of prioritize the traffic leaving the highway. Um, Just for me, I think this has a much better flow. Now, there's not a lot of people using this. I will grant you that, okay? But now that, that is down to the realistic population mods. If it was a normal CS game, it would, this would be flowing right now. It'd be crazy, but yeah, but due to the realistic population mod, this is sort of a, at an acceptable level. But you'd think, you know, once my city gets bigger, this interchange serving this area, it'll be serving all this as well. I think that's ample. I really do. really think that's ample. But of course, it's just a normal valley interchange. Nothing special about it. Oh, I very, very basic. Very, <laughs> probably very boring as well. But it works. It works for me, okay? It works for me. And of course, we built the Butterville Mountain. Now, my idea behind this is for the future. All right, so you can just imagine now, okay, you got some nice trails. You've got a big national park. You climb this big old mountain, okay? And can you imagine, say, about 20 to 30 episodes time when you've got the skyline down there? I mean, that will just look amazing. I mean, I wouldn't mind betting it'll look amazing now, you know? without the skyline so i mean <laughs> you know just look at that that is just exceptional that is just wonderful what what a view that is and to think you know as i said down the line when you've got the skyline down the corner down there you've got all this area built up as well just very exciting times ahead guys very exciting but guys that is it for the episode i hope you have enjoyed it as much as as much as I have enjoyed building it, I honestly it has just been it's been a joy and a pleasure to build this bus depot. Okay, I hope it's given you some inspiration. All right, let me know down below what you think of it, and obviously if you have enjoyed it, please give me a like. But at the same time, if you haven't enjoyed it, then obviously leave me a dislike as well. I would love to hear either way what you think of it. All right, um, if you have subscribed to the channel already. Obviously, I got my Discord link down below, and if you wanted to support me even more, I have also got my Patreon link down below as well. So anything, you know, with that is completely optional, but I would really appreciate anything, honestly. Just, yeah, just the support you already showed me is amazing. And of course, if you haven't subscribed to me already and you want to keep up with the date with the series, then obviously consider subscribing as well. But until next time, guys, have a great day. And I will see you in the next episodes. So until next time, take very good care. And bye.